I was wanting to create something for them on our open space, some type of games or activities. Especially this year, we've noticed we have to utilize every single space that's out there because of the social distancing. The purpose of Painted Play Spaces is to paint brightly colored games that are engaging to improve students' physical activity so that they're more engaged. We partnered with the University of Central Oklahoma for amazing UCO students and I have put together a couple of key resources around the Painted Play Spaces project. One being an assessment toolkit and the other being a playbook. We want our kids to just run and play, but you also want to have some structured activities that they can choose from as well. Some of the games that we have in the playbook are copycat, bullseye, rock, paper, scissors, showdown, four square. We have fitness stations that incorporate squats, lunges, jumping jacks, sit-ups, push-ups. Sensory pathway will include movements like hop, side jump, tiptoe. Some of these activities are great for the release of anxiety and physical tension. They were so excited just to see all the color that was out there. and They're just kind of exploring what we've done so far. If a school was interested in implementing painted play spaces at their school, we plan to allow schools to borrow the stencils from the State Department of Education. And so their part would be to supply the paint and then organize their volunteers. The assessment tool, it's really, here's what you need to do a week before, here's what you do a day before, here's what you do the day of. So our hope is that it's really simple, doesn't become a burden on administrators or teachers. They looked a little bored or lost or just kind of standing around. Now they're looking at the games that we have on there and they're getting their friends and they're just automatically going out there and playing.